Dallas County DA Craig Watkins hopes to never see sites like that here in North Texas, so he wants to create a special unit to investigate officer-involved shootings. His investigative unit would work with DPD's own investigation, and he talked about that issue with us Friday night here on Fox 4 News at 9. And tonight, he took his message to the community. Fox 4's Calvert Collins joins us from the town hall meeting. All right, Calvert, know a lot of people showed up. How was the idea received by those folks? Well, it, this really got heated at times, but that was mostly between the families of victims of officer involved shootings and the police chief, as well as uh, the district attorney and then uh, Dallas County Sheriff Lupe Valdez. But all three of those panelists agree that there still needs to be more oversight in these shootings, that uh, departments need to learn from mistakes. And it's the district attorney who thinks that cops should not be investigating cops. Many in this room agreed. We're not Missouri. For two years, Dallas County District Attorney Craig Watkins has been working on a civil rights unit. He hopes county commissioners will approve funding for the two positions, one prosecutor and one investigator. Watkins wants them on call 24-7, scrutinizing every officer-involved shooting for every law enforcement agency within the county. Many in this room cheered for the reopening of old cases. The investigation of these young men who have been killed in the last two years will be reopened. Yeah. Yeah. Currently, the departments police themselves. At DPD, veteran homicide officers in the Special Investigative Unit review each officer-involved shooting. They are required to be at the crime scene within an hour, and a specific prosecutor is assigned to the unit to move the case through DPD to the grand jury. At the end of the day, we work for you. At the end of the day, we're public servants. Brown says DPD plans to add 200 body cameras and 2,000 tasers this year. A man whose brother was shot and killed by Dallas police claims a body camera was used in that incident, but the video was never released. We're always in a balancing act of how much is too much information, how much is too little? We don't want to interfere with the investigation. In the past month, we've seen Dallas County deputies doing tactical training with snipers and armored military-style vehicles, similar to what we've seen on the streets of Ferguson, Missouri. Chief Brown says DPD does have some of that equipment, but hasn't used it on protesters. In July of 2012, angry residents on Dixon Circle faced hundreds of officers in riot gear after a Dallas officer shot and killed a convicted drug dealer. We we have made decisions that uh, not everyone in this room may have liked. And then we made the decision not every my department liked. Now, one group that does not support the district attorney's plan is the Dallas Police Association. The union thinks that uh, two prosecu prosecutors should just be assigned to DPD's existing unit along with an FBI agent instead of creating this whole new unit as the DA wants. And then also believes that uh, body cameras should be added. For, there should be 2,500, not just the 200 that the chief said has been allocated. And the union also wants a more consistent policy when it comes to releasing information, which is one thing we did hear from a lot of people inside this town hall meeting tonight, Heather. All right, lots to figure out with this. Calvert, thank you.